How's it going everyone, Schaefer here and welcome back to our playthrough of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh. All of the Sky Towers have now been activated. Very nice. Look at my little hand there going, like yeah. just wriggling. Okay, Ink, your turn. What do I do? Mm -hmm. Go hold the Pura Pad over the terminal. Can do. Oh, a teleport point. Yeah, nice. Huh. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here anytime instantly. The same is true for your uh, every Skyview Tower you add to your Pura Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area or to simply put to make a map. The PuraPad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topo topography directly on the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? The only thing is you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. <laughs> Did I get a paraglider? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's showtime. Right, let's get to a test. Let's start with a test scan. But now it's time for our very first test launch. Wait, wait a minute. Is that going to eject me out the top? For our first test, just step over there onto the circle and find me afterwards, all right? Okay. I'll be observing from the research lab. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also find it. I also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has weakened, uh, wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. This thing is going to eject me out the top, right? I think I might need more than luck for this one. Um, yeah, it is as well. <laughs> That's cool. Surface map updated. That's what I'm talking about. And sky map updated as well. Hmm. So now, now what? Oh, I can glide now. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link, as I expected, nothing less. So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? I did. Uh -huh. Good. The map is crucial for our search. There are sky ta uh, Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Eldin from the northeast. Gerudo is reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, 
There's Lenaru in the east. Strange phenomena, phenomena are concent uh, concentrated in these four regions. Hmm. I can't say for certain, but uh, I've got the nagging suspi suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking in those uh, the, into these phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda in Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That's pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about what's going on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to the Rito village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure he, she could help out in some way too. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheaval's many chasms and new ruins. I will also be looking into different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what's happened to Princess Zelda. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out all the major phenomena that are troubling the regions around Hyrule. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. I hope so. <laughs> I gotta find goggles. What do you want? Oh. Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Right. Yeah, you alright there, Birdman? Ah. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around in the sky. It's great to meet the first per first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Mm. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> You've got the same name uh, as that famous swordsman. <laughs> Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Oh. i got some bad works for you, Pen. I'm Pen, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere know, uh, will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work, our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. We could use another reporter, you should join us. Seem like a brave type and all, that's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hebra, to the northwest, you'll find it near the bridge that leads to the Rito village. So if you stop by, if you're up for an adventure of a lifetime, it's the newspaper biz. <laughs> Soar along. Okay. See ya. So now I can glide, right? Ah, so you know what that means. That means I can do this one now. A lot of... A lot, of, uh, a lot of reading in this one. Not so much voice acting. Bit of a shame. Where am I? Right here. So oh, let's try this again. That's how you do it. Huh. 
No. Oh. Didn't realize you could shoot an arrow to uh, activate. Uh, to activate those things. God damn it. Uh. I mean, it's my own fault, right? I should have been stunned on it first. There we go. It's much more successful. I grab this one. Yeah, that's better. Nice. There we go. Just one more now. So... 
I gotta go, wow, all the way over there. That's a long way. Let's try the, I wanna get on the, uh, there's a boat down here. Oh my word. Oh, it's a tree. Front and a sturdy thick stick. Um, I think I'm okay. Well, that's 20 damage that um, Bokoblin arm. Damn. I'm gonna use this instead for a bit because I don't want to actually waste it. Maybe we can make a, um... An amphibious vehicle. What? Come here. You please not. Mm. What the? Wait just a second, we'll put that on in a moment. There we 
go. Oh, I see a nice little house inside now. Well, I mean, it's not really attached, but you know, it's it's okay. Um, sure. Now we have a nice mast right there. Sure, this, this looks... This looks fine. So I see a pro <laughs> I see a problem. Doesn't float that well. Okay, well. Let's redesign a little bit here. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, or not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now. Uh, um, yeah, no. Okay, looks good. Then I don't really have any room. Oh, I know what I can do. Huh? 
Oops. Really? Come on, really, just leave me alone. Now it, flo now it floats. Although, oh no, we are moving. Slowly, because the wind is going in the wrong direction, I think. Or I needed more logs. Nope. Now I think I'm stuck. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it. And now my raft's gone, I bet, right? Oh, it hasn't. If I need more logs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So how about now? I mean, I can't steer, so that's the thing. Alright, I think that'll do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.